Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam, and welcome back to a new season of After Campfire. The summer of 2019 is over, and we're ready to start over anew with this because Sam is back and he made a video, finally, even though he said he was going to make it during the summer, even though he keeps saying he's going to do that and then doesn't. Liar! Whatever. This is going to be a weird episode. There's a lot to cover. We've, we've, we've been away from each other for quite a while. Um, but I should start with my questions to Sam. So he was responding to me asking him uh, what I thought the best or what he missed the most and didn't miss the most about being a counselor. I think I think he was answering two questions that I made separately because of shenanigans made before the summer. But I don't actually remember, and I didn't bother to go back and watch my old videos. I'm just going to trust Sam on this one. And I like how Sam's answer was basically, I miss all the positives, and I don't miss all the negatives of being with kids and being in a small cabin. Um, and that's reasonable. Working with kids and being a counselor is super fun, and it's great. And you're going to be like the big brother to a lot a little hooligans. Oh, I was talking about not being a counselor. Living in a cabin, I think, was the the actual question something along those lines um but yeah me and sam had very different experiences as counselors because he was always more like mommy and i was always more like daddy even though we weren't ever really in the same cabin except for that one week during mini camp when things were weird and frandy was our co and okay cool whatever <laughs> um but I was always more like daddy because I worked at circus, so I had to be there a lot, especially because almost all of my time as a counselor, I had juniors, and juniors eat lunch and dinner when I still had to be at circus, so I didn't eat with them for lunch and dinner. And I was also an assistant director of circus, so I was gone even more. So I didn't have to deal with a lot of the negatives of being with kids as much as Sam which is awkward, but it was nice for me. Also, Sam, like, kept getting, like, very naughty children. And I just kept getting mostly the bundles of sunshine, who were great. And I also had, like, a really weird experience because, like, I had basically my actual little brother, Layden, in my cabin for years. Like, me and Layden just stayed together for like six of my seven years as being a counselor I think because then he became an inter and I didn't want to go up into interworld <laughs> um yeah maybe only five I don't remember but it was a long time and it's like very odd I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only counselors who have ever done such a thing and it was great because Layden's awesome um but yeah I really miss having all my little brothers and, like, playing Pokemon and video games and magic and playing around and just, it was great. And, like, as far as kids waking me up in the morning, I never really had to deal with them that all that much. It wasn't that bad. Um, and I'm shorter, so, like, things like, oh, the bathroom stall being too small, the shower stall being too short, like, weren't a problem for me, because I'm small. Yay! Um... So yeah, I really miss having these a cabin with a bunch of kids that are really cool and that are basically like my little brothers, which I didn't have at the time, and now I do. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any negatives in mind right now. Um, oh, I remember. I thought about this when you made your video. My main negative about being a counselor in a cabin was having CITs that wouldn't take care of themselves. Like, you are 16 and or 17, child. I am not your dad. You are here to be a counselor for these kids. If I need to talk to you more than them, we are going to have problems. And I don't like dealing with them like that because they're paying to be here. I did it. I know how it feels. But you, you can't be detriment detrimental to the cabin, dude. And I have that a few times, and it was real awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, it was weird. Like, my best CIT experience was when my current girlfriend at the time's ex-boyfriend was my co. To be fair, we were friends before then, but it was a little weird. But it was awesome, because we just played Magic all the time, and all the kids were playing with us, and it was great. Yeah. 
And he always took care of himself and was nice and good. But yeah, um... <laughs> weird times in cabins. So Sam, you asked me how my summer was. It's been a weird, weird summer. Um, and I have to say, for me and for everyone, welcome to Henry's Adult Phase 3. So, two months ago, I lost my job. Uh, if you have been watching this channel, you have probably seen that there have been many times where I have been very negative about my experience at my job. And I tried very hard to not go into that too deeply for reasons like the fact that this is a pretty public thing to be making. Even though not a ton of people watch these, but the fact that you could Google me and find this makes it so that I should be a little cautious. Anyways, I was already applying for new jobs and already trying to leave and I wasn't having a good time. And my manager, who I didn't know was my manager until he got mad at me for reasons, also noticed I wasn't really enjoying myself and I was bored and not doing things because they weren't giving me things to do. And I got let go. It's, it was dumb. I didn't, I'm happy that I'm gone, but it is frustrating that I didn't get to do it on my own terms because I was planning on it. So now I am trying to figure out a new thing, which is tricky and weird. And that's stressful. So that's what a big chunk of my summer has been. But aside from that, there has been a lot of fun this summer. Like, uh, because I've had more time, I had a lot more time to dig into Fire Emblem, the new Fire Emblem that came out, which I was really worried I wasn't gonna like. Uh, I like it, I like it a lot. I have over 200 hours into it. Please help, I cannot stop playing this game. <laughs> but like, also, um. I always, like, leave my phone on a thing to raise the height a little bit when I'm recording, and currently it's on these deck boxes for a game a friend of mine made called Verge, which is, like, basically the Pacific Rim card game. Um, and it's super fun, and me and my friend have been playing it a lot. And, like, I made the first alpha version of my game, and it was, like, a little bit better than I expected it to be. And we noticed some major flaws, but that's why I made the alpha, so I could figure out what to fix in the next version, and that was super exciting. And yeah, I've just been like hanging out and doing cool stuff with my friends a lot. Like just like rock climbing, playing games, and figuring out what to do with my life. Uh, <laughs> it's tricky. Um, it's stressful. But luckily I'm okay. Like money-wise, it's not too much of a concern, at least for the next few months. Um, so... It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to worry about. It's a lot to stress about. And this process is super slow. Like, I, if I hear back from people, I might not hear back for a month. And that's a bummer. <laughs> um, but yeah. A special, er, this is also interesting because I've been really interested in switching to software engineering. And this is kind of my opportunity to do so. But I don't also know how qualified I am for that since I didn't study it in undergrad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways. Sam, question for you. I should have thought of one ahead. I thought, I'm like, Henry, you should think of one ahead. And I'm like, nah, I'll think of it as I go. But I didn't, really. Except for this one question, which, whatever, I'm going to ask it. Sam, what would you do if you ran... No, I feel like I've already asked this question. Like, what if you did it? What would you do if you had a random giant chunk of time off to do stuff. Um, hmm. Sam, you got a new job. I'm assuming you are going to talk about that on your episode. And I want you to tell me what you are looking forward to most in your new job. I look forward to resuming this with you. See ya. Goodbye.